morning everyone welcome to the homestead my name is Jason and this is my channel life to live for so over the next couple of days is my days off uh, I've got a bunch of things going on clean up this whole area here uh, getting rid of a bunch of hay still I've got uh, the water tank finally put in if you follow the Facebook page you already know that that's there I'll have a link down in the description for that page uh, we also got these insulated panels they're about 12 inches thick go ahead and zoom in there and um, got them from a, a walk-in cooler one of our neighbors had that so that's going to go up and over that and some kind of a cover on it and let's see here go ahead and zoom in clear over there we got a new tree one of the neighbors is uh, doing a bunch of work on a place and just bought the place and cleaning it up so he decided he didn't want that tree anymore so we took it off his hands and while the neighbor was here go ahead and walk this over here excuse the bounciness i don't have a, a camera on the tripod now he decided well he insisted on he decided on doing some other work so Low low spot here. This is for the shop. I'm pretty sure you can see that right in here. You can see last fall got a uh, basically a metal skeleton to a shop. Got the trusses sitting here. Got the legs there. You can see my wood pile there. I'm sorting through that stuff too. But um. I do need to get some timbers, some three by sixes to go in there to bridge the gap between all the legs and the trusses and everything. But it'll go there. It'll be about a, so I think a 16 feet wide by 30 feet long is how I'm gonna make it. Made a big enough area that I can put another 10 foot section on. Just five sections all together, so. Right now, there'll just be three sections going up. And then I'll take you over here. got that same neighbor doing a bunch of work on the driveway it's going through leveling everything out uh, for the most part anyways just great guy he just got sick and tired of going over all the rocks and the roughness of the driveway so he's doing what he can to level it out we've got a bunch of these rocks that are in the driveway those are just ones that are exposed. And then you got this area here. If you remember the video with the fire. This is where the fire truck got stuck, so he's gonna be building this up and making it so the water drains off over that direction so it doesn't puddle up here. All right. Now we'll try to get this video up pretty quickly, either this week or maybe the end of next week. I do have one more video I wanna get recorded today and get it up by the end of this week. So we'll just uh, keep you posted. All right, so. <clears throat> got the, uh, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Got the insulated panels over the uh, water tank, or around the water tank. You see, it's going to be nice and thick. I mean, they have to be, I don't know, at least eight inches thick, maybe ten inches thick. Got a piece of plywood over the top. Got a fair amount of room in here. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go in here. Kind of 
plane. Hopefully it's not too dark. It looks like we can see. Now, there's the output for the water. Having a hard time focusing in the dark. There we go. But there's going to be a 90 degree coming this way. The pump is going to sit here. And then I have a piece of tubing, like metal tubing down below. And I'm going to be cutting a hole right in here. So it goes out that way. And I have this little battery here. And that's going to power the pump. And a little tiny solar panel that's going to be recharging it I mean we only would use this pump you know once every week maybe so should have plenty of sun to recharge it but for now it'll go through this opening there's a lot of whitewash but it'll go the hose will go through that opening for now uh, mainly I wanted this up just to keep the sun off of it off the water Keep it from turning green. And eventually it'll have all that. And then right here in this wall, right above the uh, filler, most likely, it may change. But uh, I was thinking of punching a hole right in there so you can feed the hose in. Or the other option is to have a T down here and then have a line running out that side. So you just pump the water straight in down there and have a pump on the truck with the other tank. Definitely a busy day. I'm sure you can hear the little skid steer working. Working on the driveway. He's doing a lot of work. We'll zoom in down over here to the right. That's where that uh, the fire truck got stuck. He's filling all that in with dirt and rocks. And then right over here. That's where the shop's gonna go. I'm getting a bunch of dirt from this little ledge right here. So we can fill in that area. So the uh, neighbor left, uh, he's all done with uh, working on the driveway. <clears throat> Took dirt clear up here to the porch, leveled this off because it was pretty rough. <clears throat> Go through and walk through everything. Leveled all this out. There's still a couple of rocks sticking up here and there but that's not a big deal, I don't really care. Uh, this right here, we cut all this back, so I have a little bit more space here. It did come out, let's see here, came out right out to here. So I took a good three, four feet, and used that for fill. I just realized I need to uh, find another way to get up there to the water tank to empty the water, maybe this will be it right here. A little slope, but anyways, we got all this taken care of. It looks a lot better, a lot wider, because it used to be just two little, you know, they call it a two track, where the tires would go in for a vehicle. Now it's an actual wide driveway, and he was telling me before I put gravel down, put down a called it like road cloth or something like that I'm gonna have to look that up and put down road cloth and put down your three or four inch gravel and then your smaller stuff on it yeah, this right here is where that fire truck got stuck he leveled all this out and actually angled it down that way so it drains away all the water drains away out that direction Sorry, stepped on a rock and slipped. Looks like we're still pretty well under the inside of our property on that side. We're actually pretty close. We got the, uh, the sign right there, that's where it starts. Then it goes in through here, then up over that ridge. So it looks like, uh, it might be in the easement over here, but 
we're also in the easement right here, so that's not a big deal. According to the paperwork, the easement's for driveways anyways, driveways and utilities. But he took this down a little bit, smoothed it out, widened it. Uh, kind of built up on this side. So it looks like the water is going to... He said the water will drain down one side or the other. Looks like he's got it so it drains down this side. And then it will go down that slope down the road that direction. And he said up here. Yeah, up here he had it drain down off that direction over there. Well, got a decent looking driveway. Ready for some gravel. Hopefully we can get it all done within the next couple of months. I'm supposed to have rain this upcoming next weekend. Be able to smooth this out and pack it down a little bit more maybe. Because the bad thing about living out here in this place is this. It's all dust. And it's just silt. Silt and clay. So hopefully we can get uh, some rain in here. Drive around on this for a little bit. And get it nice and packed. But we'll definitely have to get it taken care of by this winter. Because this is all just going to be mud like it was last winter. Alright. Continue working. Alright everyone. So the uh, first part of that video was uh, of last week. It's kind of difficult to... Uh, record, edit, you know, try to put together a homestead and, you know, do a YouTube channel all at the same time. So I'm just going to add this onto the previous video and just show you what I did this week. You know, it was, you know, I consider it kind of lazy, but I mean, considering this is the only thing I got done, but I was lucky enough borrowed a tractor when the neighbors had a brush hog hook up to it and I just asked if I could use it and so he let me he said go for it um, but uh, did a bunch of brush hogging I don't know if you can really see much of a difference uh, let's see where's a good example here we go this area right in here used to be that tall all the wild grass and everything probably about two or three feet tall and did the whole area probably about three acres worth or so yeah I know my solar panels are still on the ground I need to get them up on a on some kind of a mount I did this whole area the first time running a tractor and I ran a mini excavator uh, when we first moved here and cut in the road or the, the driveway and then we came across here I'm gonna go ahead and just walk up to it excuse me if it's shaky the ground is really uneven I need to get through and like, till up the ground and level it all out I came across this little bush I was poking up I don't know if you guys can see this but it got these little purple flowers that are coming up. I'm curious, maybe somebody out there knows what this is. I know there's websites and stuff to help you identify, but you know, I'm recording right now and I just thought about this, so I figured I'd post it up here. But uh, this is the remaining straw that was from around the camper. Decided to go ahead and put it out here and let it compost and be good for a garden. It was, you know, seven or eight bales or something like that. This is the stuff that was falling apart that nobody really wanted. I'm going to till it into the ground and get it ready. Now, the reason why I didn't do this section over here with the brush hog, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little little valley that comes down like this and I didn't want to risk the tractor tipping over everything it gets pretty steep right there especially if you're going sideways 
then at first I was thinking, bring in a bunch of dirt, go ahead and fill that in and just level it all out right up in through here. But then I thought, you know, I actually kind of like the looks of that. I just need to get in there with you know, maybe a push mower or something like that. But I like the little contour to the land. And then I don't know if you can see it, but there's more. I'm trying to see the screen here, right in here. It, you know, it's like flat here, it goes up a little bit, and there's a little, I don't know, kind of like a hill coming down this way. And same thing right in here. And then in here. And you see like the areas where it's still tall. That's all where there's rocks. And then the little hills are down in between. My original plan was just to level this whole area out. Maybe put up a retaining wall for the little ridge that's up there. And this is actually a little ridge going across the top here. I was going to level it all out, put a retaining wall up there. But the more and more I think about it, I think all I'm going to do is level out this area in here, you know, just for the, for the cabin and everything. You can finally see my wood pile, yay. But um, just level this area out, kind of leave all the contours and the shapes to the land. I kind of like the looks of it, especially that now that I've had a chance to look at it. Maybe I'll walk over here, maybe get a better, better view. Yeah, maybe. I might be able to see that better on the camera. But yeah, it actually comes down there. Right there's the bottom and then it goes back up to that side. <clears throat> so I think that'd be neat to keep plus it's probably helps with drainage or something like that so leave that there and if it does help with drainage maybe water will come down and help feed the garden if we actually put the garden in this area so anyways that's what i did this week All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If uh, if you did like it and you want to know more, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the notification icon, and we'll see you next time. Keep kicking up dust.